Hello everyone, and welcome back to the next episode of this Transport Fever 2 Moneyville County series, where, between the last ep between last episode and now, I've, well, here th I've reduced the traffic, train traffic jams by just getting rid of a couple of excess trains that it turns out we didn't really need. That one's not even full still as well. And, over, wherever it is here, you'll notice I, a bit will big over, pass here, which allows trains to not have to kind of interact with this junction bending onto this line. Uh, that's going to have to wait for this train, yeah. These lines are still incredibly busy. And I think we still need those trains as well. Yeah, that's waiting for the iron ore train to go out. Before that can come in, yeah. It's got the iron ore all on one platform and the coal all on the other platform. And that doesn't... There's not another signal on that line for a while either. We can send it through to here while it's waiting. Same with this direction, to be honest. There we go. And then the steel goes out of platform one. So that works on that front. So now we have here machines being made. No shipment. And we have, wherever we are, if I remember which direction I'm going in, over here we have goods that are being made but not being shipped anywhere. So, this Nailsea Cargo Company, they're very collaborative, so they agree to send goods to wherever they're needed. And that's one of the few cargo types that's not needed in Moneyville. However, right here, Oswestry. They're going to collaborate with this company to bring goods into Oswestry. Now, they're mostly near the station, so what they're actually going to do is they're going to build their own little cargo drop-off station right by the existing station. And you use the junction of that station. Doesn't really matter what speed of track we use, so let's just use that. And then we can bring in goods to Oswestry. So if we just go to this, we're running down to Oswestry and back. So, platform, yeah that seems like an appropriate platform to use, but we can still use many other platforms. That's good and that's going to be Oswestry goods. It would help if I didn't have caps lock on. And then, we're going to build another train depot here because the other one on this company's network is incredibly congested. Auto save. Thanks game. There we go. I'm just going to bring it into this line. I'm just going to need one simple goods train. Hopefully we'll get some new cargo wagons at some point as well. Right, 60, 60 capacity, that'll do. And that can go on. What's Westry Goods? Now, the next place that needs goods around this area is Paddock Wood, but that's going to be a bit of a pain to get to with the network layout. Nails, see? Requires goods. That's going to be an easy one. really matter which platform it uses because I'll allow it to use any of them anyway and we are going to run the cargo up to nail C. It's going to be nail C goods. And once again we've got the train out of here. This will probably be a slightly longer one as it's a slightly bigger place with and slightly further away. 72 goods. Steel, that's not full. It's a plastic, has a plastic one, that's not full either. I think I might have overdone the trains on some of these lines. Is that passenger? Busy. Okay, another train. Just to let you know, I did manage to forget to save my last game, so I reverted from the autosave, but the last few minutes of the last episode I just had to kind of redo that. 
So, that's that direction. Now there's another direction which is right down this way. Places like Winchcombe, Tunbridge Wells as well. And this is going to run off this line. I go around 75 and it's just going to be a very nice smooth sweeping curve. Connect round to there. This line will need signals. We haven't set them up yet. Junction signals. Let's just set that up like how it should be. And then that can send goods to Tunbridge Wells and to Winchcombe. And also, if we do a track connection, there are quite a few towns up this way as well. Loads of towns up this way that can do them or we can bring a big good we can bring a big good strain to Tunbridge Wells and then okay here's the idea we bring a big good strain to Tunbridge Wells full of goods some of them will go to Tunbridge Wells anyway some of them can then get on a train that would be delivering machines down from here to Tunbridge Wells they can get on that train to go back to this plant here and they can then be distributed because goods and machines use the same cargo wagon I mean, we can even do that to Winchcombe as well. We can just send like one big train down to Tunbridge Wells. For that, however, we will need, uh, I would say, an extra couple of platforms. So, we'll get them set up. We might want a cargo building as well to be able to store some of the cargo. So, this is going to turn into a bit of a cargo hub. There are so many places in the area which need the same goods. Right, that should be enough storage. Hopefully. There we go. Should hopefully be enough. So. Yeah. Don't think we're going to be able to. Actually, no. Yeah, let's just do this, and this one will also be able to connect down this way from that platform. However, this one, both platforms will be able to send them up the other way, because that will actually be the busier direction. That's too tight. It's fine. We'll just kind of do a slight a separate approach for the cargo trains. It will be based off this here. So that there's more capacity for trains to queue up. I'm actually just going to go like that. I'm just going to kind of delete that signal and place it up here. There we go. So, Tunbridge Wells, hopefully, that covers where the cargo is wanted most of it. Let's just leave it at that. So, for our intricate plan, we come from Welling Garden City. Platform 1, that's good. I think every platform has something on it now. Yeah, should go and duplicate Platform 1. Just gonna head straight for Tunbridge Wells. It's only that platform it can use and that's Tunbridge Wells goods. I think the reverse transport will be key in making these routes even more profitable. <coughs> and in fact, you could even use reverse transport to go back up here to then deliver machines to Nailsea. That is really going to work. But this Nailsea goods train, we are going to make it a little bit longer as well if it might be delivering machines as well. So, we've got that line set up, we haven't got the train on it. Then we're going to need more cargo stations set up. Or cargo platforms at least. So Winchcombe. You're actually relatively close to here, so what we could do. So no. This train's not gonna be that long. So if we just set up cargo platform kind of just poked away at the side here. We can do a car we don't really need a cargo building, but that will just yeah, we'll just get another passenger building. More passenger buildings along this end that can connect up to the street. 
this end. And then this is gonna connect up into there. Maybe? No, it's not gonna work like that. If we if it's not gonna allow this crossover to be built, then yeah, we'll just do it separately like that. I can give it more time to bend in. There we go. Not too difficult. Put another signal here, because that's a bit of a junction. And that line can then go from Tunbridge Wells to Winchcombe, and that's going to be Winchcombe Goods. And also machines, but let's just get those trains set up now. So, Steam, let's get play mode because we're going to need quite a bit of money for all of this. So, I'd love some new cargo wagons. And steam trains. And we're going to get some 80 capacity trains and we're going to get two of them for Tunbridge Wells goods. Because we're then going to, with our nearest depot, which I think is actually here, for this one, get a smaller train for Winchcombe. Goods. Then, along this line, what we're going to do is we're going to get a train to take goods up to here to be distributed, to also take machines back down to Brightling Sea and Colchester on the way, because there won't be so many coming to Tunbridge Wells. So that's not the. I don't know actually. Maybe we'll get them to stop. Uh, stop. Well. Maybe we'll get it to stop off at Colchester as well, but not Brightling Sea. They're very near to the station at Colchester. We're going to get our... Oh, ideally, the platform goes on this side. The tracks. Just dropping them off on the way. On this direction. Actually, it's fine. We'll just get it to cross over. It's not a busy line. Platforms. And that platform there, that track, it's gonna go like that, that, have another, well that actually down the next signal, so that's fine. Now this one might be a bit more like that, we'll just get a double slip switch in for this one, because the signal is there. So what we're gonna do, so we're gonna start up at the machines plant here. Platform one, yep, that's fine. We're then going to drop off machines at Colchester. We're then going to drop off some more machines at Tunbridge Wells. Once the auto show is complete. And then we're just going to run fast back. And that's gonna, I'm going to call that Tunbridge Wells Machines, because that's the main place it's going. Not Tunbridge W, thanks. And then, Train Depot will use Brightling C. Steam. Cargo. Boxcar. Again, probably 60 capacity, two of these. It's going to do some a lot of cargo movement. So there we go. Got a lot of places up here as well, like Oxford, Yarm, Limington, I think, are the three that we're going to get set up because they require the two. Um, as well as, can't be forgetting about Moneyville, and its demand for, mach for machines, which will come in this way through with and see. So I've got just notice these tools. Oh my gosh, Pershaw tools. Extra train maybe. <laughs> these tools are kind of out competing these kind of small scale ones here, but that's kind of how this works. So out of this machines plant we want a stop off at Oxford. And we are literally just gonna once again get a sm small little platform tucked away at the side. 
just about fits. Because it'll be a small, it'll be a tiny train that just, in fact if it's going down to the machine front, it doesn't need a crossover. It'll be a tiny train that just goes to Oxford and back. And then this will connect up like that. Then it's going to be Oxford machines. Doesn't really matter which platform. We go on all anyway. Oxford machines. It will carry goods as well. And yeah, that train. It can't be too long. That one. If necessary, we'll get a second because we can't really. We can't make it much more than 80 meters, or else it won't fit on the platform. Yeah, in the junction. Could potentially be a problem. With Oxford. So, Yarm is the next one that requires both. We'll put the cargo platform on this side of the station. Cargo platform. There. That will connect up to there. And then we're going to get platform one, that's fine. Up to Yarm. And that's going to be Yarm Machines. Because it's mainly kind of because it's coming from machines, but I'll call it machines, even though it's going to be delivering goods as well. So, we take this loco. We put a nice number of carriages on it. 76 capacity will do. Yarm machines. And then the other one is Limington. Which honestly covers most of it, so I don't even know why we need that truck stop, but let's just leave it there. It looks cool. We can create the new line from this place called Oxford. Platform 3 is good. We'll get it on all options though. And yeah, Lington 1 or Lumington 2? Does it matter is the next question. I don't think it does, particularly. That's weird how it kind of does that, but Lumington is just a weird junction anyway. And that's Lumington machines. And we're delivering to those places because they want both goods and machines. Lumington will probably going to end up for now with... 80 capacity. Heading for Limington. And that is suddenly loads of goods that could potentially be delivered. Now this is going to upgrade once it's got some transport, which is basically once stuff gets delivered. Wedding Garden City, that's got a load of goods waiting. This is also, I assume, it's already upgraded. Brilliant. It's going to put more demands on this. Nail seat oil. Potentially get another train on that. Because the chemicals are also a bit lacking. Yeah, that could do with like quite a bit more. Yeah. Definitely. We just cannot wait for new trains on quarter. Let's put it on half time state speed. This is fine. This is, yeah, they're getting most of their coal and whatever picked up. This isn't, well, it's quite busy, but it's, I wouldn't call it congested now. It's flowing a bit better. Yeah, this one's going to go in first, isn't it? <laughs> you are the chosen one to run in first. This junction still gets very busy when there are like three trains going to come in at once. Yeah. So his trains are still kind of accelerating with that because they're very long, not as powerful. It can cause um, issues. At least these ones they accelerate downhill here, though not here. <laughs> kind of slowly waiting, and this one will be able to accelerate downhill, but then we'll have to stop anyway. It's annoying. I've got, still got more places to connect, but 
We've connected most places up to the map net, the main passenger network now. This is working really well, it looks like. The coal train's going out, waiting for them. And then this one can come in. This iron ore train's going in. It's all very nice. This one is waiting for the free path for, uh... Oh, literally. There are just so many trains running down this line and not very many signals. That's what the potential wait is for. Because we could do with more signals. There we go. That'll do. Better. They're all ready. Yeah, this Tunbridge Wells machine is going to be a very key route to kind of get stuff up and down the line. So we're going to get another train on there. These oil lines could do with. Let's want the locos on here. Yeah, I think we're going to save most of our upgrades until we get new cargo wagons and steam engines. More, more of a backlog coming down here. That's why we need the new cargo trains because they'll have higher capacity, so you won't have such a backlog. Oh, is this delivering? Oh, it's delivering fuel to Filton. That's weird. <laughs> and again, does use kind of reverse transport, so I'll allow it. If it uses reverse transport, then it's just more utilisation, whereas if it uses forward transport, then it's just annoying. There we go, this train's doing well. I think this whole network's doing very well. Of course there's still more places there are still more places to connect. We desperately need the new trains. In fact let's just I expect they'll probably come in soon, so let's just whack up the date speed. There we go, that's going back to nail seat with some machines as well. It's waiting for the steel, that is full. Good. Yeah, a lot of these trains need more powerful locomotives. It's just really struggling. With all the wagons. This is a busy station. Not going to Tunbridge Wells. That was on Westry, wasn't it? Not quite so busy, but I think once more goods are made, it'll be busier. You've got nothing on board. This is still very busy. You've, how much have you got to pick up? Just about enough. That's good. These stations are now getting busier again, which is better than not picking up enough. But honestly, I'm just hoping the new train stuff comes out soon because then we can upgrade our lines again. These trains they're doing fine. Running into Mayville. Kind of quite an interesting junction layout if you look at it here. You've got one bending around so they're one bending into Moneyville. But on a different line. Shit. We'd expect right moneyville machines, that's another thing we should be doing. Because you know that's our main town. But we're not gonna put it on one because that's already got two picking up routes on it. So this will run around the Bawtree bypass routes into Withensea and then around to Whitehaven, I expect. We haven't even got a drop off place in Moneyville. The machines are mostly there. Which is going to be a bit awkward to find a good place to drop them off. I mean, there's this station, but it's not connected to a track going this way. So what? I mean, really, yeah. 
There aren't even there isn't even that much of a demand for machines. And how small can we make the platform is the question. No, we can fit in there. If we wanted to, probably. If we just slightly rotated it around more. There we go. Now the buildings will grow back. Now this just does come straight into the junction, so which is not a great thing. Yeah, no, I think that station's not such a great idea, but we could make it run into there. Two, oh, yeah, that works. Somehow. Both platforms. We can even then, if we put a double slip switch on that, which we can, get this set up so Moneyville Food can come into a white platform. Like that. Moneyville Oil can come into our new platform. I don't like how it's kind of using that though. I would like it to going in and to go through a waypoint here going both in and out. Please let me select the waypoint, thank you. Oh, yeah, I see. Can we not? There we go. Problem solved. Can they go through waypoints the other direction? Yeah, they can. It's just to separate those out. And then, whatever line we're creating. Moneyville transfer platform one, ideally. But either, and that's Moneyville machines. And that could do with the train, they probably just one small train. I mean, that great Moneyville machines. Well, yeah, it runs that way. Exactly how we'd expect it to. There we go. And that won't need a big train because there's not that high a demand for. Ah. Yes, we've got the new cargo carriages paused, right. We've got a lot of upgrading to do, but this one. Get the bigger box car. 56, that will do for. Moneyville machines. We've got a lot of cargo trains to upgrade now because that will be big. This, this network here could do with way more. These trains all hold 80. I mean, they all hold 80. They're 155 metres long. It's going to make us so much more money in the long run. 80. Slightly less length. So we'll go up to 96 and more powerful and faster. We'll also do that on the planks then. These are the same. So we'll go up to with our steam, cargo, we'll go up to 96. Then for our machines delivery lines, oh my gosh, these, that's the planks, Moneyville tools, place you. It's just about kind of making the most out of what we've got. And one way to make the most out of what we've got to get the best trains so that we can deliver more. Not multiple units, thanks. Right, they're all. Yeah, I'm going to give them all 96 capacity as well. Ramsgate tools. They're all 60 capacity. We're going to boost them all up to 80. There we go. Salt burn. Uh, 72, we're going to get those up to 80. And once we have all our trains being the faster ones as well, everything will move faster. So that's that network there. We'll kind of leave passenger lines for now. But they will get annoying, kind of how slow they are. So mainly then these ones. So nail see coal, we've got three of them. Each one carries 120. They're very long trains so though. We'll get the new steam engine. New gondolas. Get them up to 120 as they were. Same with the ore. We've got five of them. 
get them each up to 120. As they were. Um, these we need, the new trains as well. We're going to run out of money doing this. But it's going to make us a whole lot more money, this. They're all 120, so we'll bring them all up too. Oh, these had a slightly different capacity. We'll go up to 135. And I think the plastic and steel could do with upgrading as well. So, this is plastic. They're all 100. We're going to go to 104. I'm just going to put the date speed back to half times now. And these. Steel, well in steel, on each vehicles, there are four of them with 100 capacity. Getting up to 104 capacity, and that's most of our money gone. So let's wait for some more money, because it won't take us long. These Killingworth crude oil, how much do they hold? They hold 95, but we're going to get up to 104 capacity on these, with our new trains. One hundred and eight, actually, with the slightly different capacities of the oil wagons, because these trains are also very old and battered. But if we just think of how much money we're going to be making with these new trains, Moneyville Oil, these all have eighty-five capacity. We'll go up to ninety, I think. Cost us 22,000. What was it? Million? Million. It's going to cost us 22 million. But we've just, all we've got to do now is just wait for some of our trains to arrive with higher loads of cargo, and it will just be so much money we'll make then. And that's only like some of our cargo trains we've managed to upgrade so far as well. Not even many of them. And that will always be a kind of gradual process of upgrading trains to be bigger, more powerful, faster. Like that. Uh, we're so close to the money. We have it. Now. So yeah, there are just so many different setups we could apply the new trains to if we got them on here. I'm oh, cool. These are uh, are these still the old ones or are these the new ones? Yeah these are the old ones on Yarm, the Yarm routes. They're all the same trains, so we're all gonna we're gonna replace them all with whenever we have the money. 120 capacity with the new fresh carriages, and that is going to cost us. Whoa, that's a lot. 58 million. Right, so we now have enough money for that. Steel. I think everything could just do with upgrading. Let's just leave it till the next episode for now. So, thanks for watching. In this episode, we have got loads of these delivered, hopefully. Loads of them still yet to be delivered. And over here... Oh my god, that's loads of goods. Tunbridge Wells. Kind of predictable. Those were gonna, that was going to be a busy route. So if we just go up to... 120 capacity with these. We should. Be able to move some more. Even maybe... With third train. Right, thanks for watching. We'll see you next episode. Goodbye.